Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to make a necklace. Uh, we have not made one in this channel yet and it is time to change that. I'm thinking of a very simple, light, airy, um, about 16 inches maybe long um, necklace with just some repeating uh, patterns between this rice bead and a colorful seed bead. So uh, for this, we're going to use a monofilament fishing line. Um, I've had this for a while. I have so much of it. I've never used it. So it's time to use this um, to make our um, necklace today. So I'm going to start by just putting in my uh, beads um, starting with the seed beads I'm going to uh, maybe starting with three seed beads first and then alternating with um, a rice bead seed bead. This is going to take a while because the beads are so small. So this is what we have so far. Just going to keep going until we have 16 inch long okay guys so I have strung my beads on the cord or the fishing line this is what it looks like this is 16 inches long um, it looks really nice with the pale pastel colors in between the rice beads I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to finish off this the ends so what I'm gonna use is uh, one of these clamshells so we're gonna slide that in and then after that we're gonna use a crimp bead or tube slide that on and we're gonna use a crimp plier bring it all the way to the end and crimp it and you want to crimp it really tight so that and I'm going to go back into the second hole again and squeeze it a couple times and in different directions so that it stays nice and tight there. I'm going to give a little tug to make sure that it doesn't come off. And then after that, I'm going to slide my clamshell over it. I'm going to use my flat nose plier to close the close it and then from here I'm going to attach my by the way I'm using um, toggle clasp here small toggle clasp so that it's easy to put the necklace on and off and I guess we can just go in with the same wire and close that loop okay so that way we don't need jump ring or any other components to complete the necklace. So we're going to push our work to the end on that side. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing. Now this side is a little tricky because you, you got to hold on to your 
stuff together and make sure that it doesn't um, fall out. I'm going to give me a little bit of space and I'm going to cut it right there, clamshell a little bit more so that it's wide open like this. Insert that. And then our crimp bead so that it's easier to crimp our tool. Okay, that's much better. I'm going to crimp this a couple times so that way it stays secure. And then I'm going to trim off the excess length. I'm going to tug and make sure that this is nice and tight. And then I'm going to close my clamshell. Insert the other half of my clasp. is our necklace and that's what it looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this video see you in the next one bye